All right, so this is a about a 15 minute stretch that you can do anytime that you wish for your lower body or definitely good after a uh, leg and glute workout. Even um, a, a run, a cardio session if you, if you go on that. And you're tight. So the first one we'll come into is a pigeon pose and having a yoga block will be very beneficial. Um, you know, for, for comfort and not trying to force yourself into any of these positions or stretches. So we'll bring the hands down to the mat. I'm gonna place the block over here. It's gonna go underneath my left hip. So my left knee is gonna come here behind my wrist and my left foot over behind the right wrist. Now I'll adjust the block, adjust my leg so that I can rest that hip right on it. Now, as you stretch the right leg back behind you, you do want your right foot, um, the ankle, the knee, and the hip all in alignment. If this is too much here with your left foot, making sure it stays flexed, being up here in line with your knee, you slide it back just a little bit. And then you're gonna come on down, folding all the way down, maybe releasing your head to a block or some type of bolster here, and just settling into it. And we'll stay for about a minute and a half. So you're feeling that stretch there right in the outer left hip. And you can even wedge a block right underneath the front of this right hip as well. So not feeling any pain here, just finding that stretch and that release on the left side. Again, keeping a flex in the left foot to protect the knee. Maybe the shin is parallel with the top of your mat or maybe it's not. And if you don't need that block underneath your uh, hip, you can always remove it. And then slowly getting ready to come up out of it. So we'll press into the hands, sliding that back knee in, removing this block off to the top right edge of the mat. I'm going to take that left foot and step it up in line with the block. So over to the left side. Now the left toes are going to turn out and then that knee is going to fall out. So we're opening up into that left hip. You can bring your left hand right to the inside here. And what we're gonna work on is as we slide that right knee back, making sure it's behind the hip, pressing into the top of the foot, we find a stretch in the front of the right hip. Now keeping your right hand maybe on this block and even walking it more off to the right side if you need to, we're gonna stretch the left arm all the way back, just an option. You can always stay right here where you're at, um, just stretching in uh, to the, the outside of the left hip and the front of the right hip if you feel good, or you can draw the right heel in towards your glute and maybe hold on to that foot. But we've got about another minute to stay here, uh, still stretching into the hips. Getting a little shoulder open or two here on this left side. And just making sure that when the left toes turn out, the left knee follows it, so they're always there in alignment. Any quadricep stretch here if we have that right uh, foot drawn into the glute. About 10 more seconds. And if you have a hold of that right foot, gently release it down. Start to bring that left foot back towards the center, letting the toes face forward, and we'll prepare for a hamstring stretch here on this left side. So pressing into the top of the right foot now. Keep as flat of a back as you can. Use the block um, if you need to, to the inside there or the outside of your flexed left foot as you straighten the leg. So as we come back, this is our split pose, a half split. 
we're going to think about pressing that heel into the mat and even though it's not moving anywhere as if we're dragging it closer to our hips finding a stretch in the back of the leg think about pressing your right hip forward just a little and then drawing that left hip back as you press into the heel and if you don't need the block just keeping your hands right down on the edges but again trying to keep a more flatter back versus rounding and coming down so if you fold a little bit further nose towards the shin just keep the flatness there in your spine shoulders drawing down and back Stay for about 10 more seconds. And then gently starting just to re-bend there into the left leg. We'll bring the left knee back to the right. And we're going to find that uh, first pose, the pigeon stretch on the right leg this time. Bringing the hands down, bringing the right knee up behind the right wrist. Sliding the right foot over behind the left and then maneuvering that right block to rest position underneath the hip or needed. Left side all in alignment, remember from the hip down to that ankle. Big flex in the right foot and then lower on down if it feels good. You can always stay up on the hands if you need to and walk that right foot back just a little bit if you need to, closer to the hip. Keep a flex in that right foot. One side of the body might be a little different than the other. So just take what you need from each side. About 15 more seconds. Feel that release in that outer right hip and that glute medius and into that piriformis as well. All right, we'll gently start to rise up. Bringing that right foot down to the mat. We'll slide the block up in line with that right foot just over to the left side. Now left hand can be on the block or off, but we'll take the right toes, turn them out and then let that hip open up. So maybe the right hand just coming right here to open a little more. Left knee is slid back really far behind the hip. We'll reach back. An option there to hold on to the foot if you want to take your quadriceps stretch or just drawing that left heel in towards the glute. Just be gentle in these stretches. We're not trying to feel any pain or discomfort. Just a good release. So back out when you need to. We'll be here for about another 30 seconds. Holding on to the inner or outer blade of that back foot, depending on if you want to more externally rotate your shoulder or not. And we gently get ready to release that foot if we have a hold of it. Starting to bring both hands down, walking that right foot back in, let the toes face forward. 
And then this is where we'll take it into our hamstring stretch, Just starting to straighten, folding down, but remembering to slide that right heel back towards your hip. Pretend that you are, that energy's there even though it's not moving. Folding down, left hip pressing forward as that right hip starts to draw back. Use the blocks if needed. And just pay attention to your breath in these stretches. See if you can release into it a little more with each exhale. Just a few more seconds here. And then we'll gently start to rebend, sliding that right knee back to meet the left. So this next one we're gonna do is for the inner thighs. I'll turn to face the camera. Keeping the right knee down on the mat, and we'll extend the left leg out to the side. So it's gonna be the inner thigh here, adductor on the left side. So trying to keep the right knee right underneath the hip, and then the right toes can either untuck, so you press into the top of the foot, or you can keep them tucked, whatever feels better. Big flex, though, in the left foot. So let the heel press in, let the toes rise up. And then as the hands walk forward, you might bring your forehead or your chest down to this block, but we're gonna shift the hips back. So if you're gonna bring the forehead down, slide the block back so that it's right underneath the forehead. If you would like some more support your chest here, you can always walk that block right underneath the chest and just let the head drop down. Either way, whatever feels better. But make sure that right side is in alignment. Now, if you need a little assistance because you have a lot of space from the right hip and the heel, you slide a block underneath so you make sure you have that connection that that right hip is pressing down. And feeling that stretch there, the groin and the left inner thigh. We'll stay for about 10 more seconds. And gently starting to rise up, removing any block that you might have from underneath you. We'll sweep that left knee in and just switch it right out to the other side. Right foot goes out this time. Flex the toes high. Use the block wherever it might be needed. Start to send that left hip back towards your heel keeping it in alignment there, and then lowering the upper body down. Giving a press with that right heel to really feel into that adductor and that inner thigh area. And up into the groin. Gently starting to rise up out of it. So the last one that we're gonna take is another one here for the hips and into the inner thigh area. Come down onto your seat, onto your bum, and let the feet separate, knees are bent. So bring the hands right down behind you. Fingers can turn around. And then what we'll do is we'll sit up nice and tall. Feet are separated outside of uh, hip and shoulder distance. And we'll let the knees fall here over to the right. So that left knee is gonna come down into that internal rotation in the hip. 
and you should feel the stretch there. If you need a little bit more, you take the outer blade of your right foot and you set it just above the left knee to press down. If you don't need that, leave that right foot where it is. We'll say for a minute on each side here. If you had a lot of space where your left knee wasn't close to the floor at all, you want to rest it on a block, you can prop a block underneath it. So always using blocks or pillows or props to Feel the pose and the stretch a little bit better. Whatever feels best in the body. Last few seconds here. Releasing that right foot down. If you were using it, we'll start to let the legs just come through center and then drop them over to that opposite side, so to the left side. Getting an internal rotation now in the right hip. And you might find, for sure, when dealing with the hips, that one side is a little more uh, mobile, more fluid, uh, easier to execute than the other. So just take what you need on this side. Try to relax that left knee out. And down as well. We'll say for about 15 more seconds. You can always do these stretches for a little bit longer if you need to, up to two and a half, three minutes. Um, just pause the video and then resume it when you I'll switch to the next stretch. Gently removing that left foot off. And then just letting both legs come out in front of you. Flex the feet, sit up tall, point toes, flex them again, give them a good point. Let the toes fall out to the sides, let them come back in towards each other, out to the sides, and in. Let them face straight up and just a little wiggling. Great job, hope you enjoyed the stretch, use it anytime you need it.